There's one other situation I want to show you that you can do with the lead pipes. Um, one time we had a problem where we had this part break off and they shut the water off and the main line, the main valve outside didn't hold. So it was kind of up to us to either put a horn lead pack on it or um, they weren't going to dig up the street. So basically what I came up with to fix it was the first thing I did was I cleaned the lead pipe. Now when you sand lead or a respirator I wouldn't want to get that quite nice and clean. Alright, it's nice and clean there. Next thing we did was with a very small drill, smaller than this. This is way too big. I, I threw a hole in the pipe on the top. Okay, I'm gonna hold, I actually have a hole in the pipe now, sorry about that. And at this point, I have water trickling out of this hole. And at that point, I can go ahead and solder my new brass fending into the pipe. Now, what we have to do now is we have to re we have to seal this hole up in the pipe. So and also when I was doing the top fitting, I believe I packed this with red and then actually forced it out the hole. But at this point we need to patch the hole in the lead and that's why we drilled the hole in the top. So the next thing we need to do is lay this lead on very carefully because we're going to pick it back up. Now at this point, very delicate. At this point, we have our hole, which is very big, which shouldn't be. You should use like an eighth inch drill bit. So we're going to flush that hole up a little bit. And it's a very delicate procedure to fill that hole back in. So we have our hole right here. Our water is now flowing through the pipe and out the top. So we have no water on the top of the pipe. And always when we solar lens pipe we use a very light flame. Especially when especially when we're working on the actual lens of the pipe. So we're going to go ahead and start heating this up. And it's easy to collapse the pipe at this point. But we'll go ahead and just, just keep on heating until we can fill this hole up. 
Another way to do this is you can drill that out and tap a brass plug in there and solder that in. We want to make sure that kind of doesn't, it has to bond with the, the lead. Now I can see where the lens dipped into the hole, which is good, that means it's modern. So now I just want to fill it up. Okay, hey, there you have it. I'm confident that the, the solar bonding with the lead Alright, I'll just clean this up a little bit.
there we have it, a nice patch. And then at this point, we have the top hole filled. At this point, we need to bend our main line back up very carefully. And it's ready to go to put a valve on it and seal up the water. So real carefully, just bend it as much as you need to, but not too much. We're almost there. Okay, we did it. So, don't forget. The first thing you want to do is drill the hole, let the water flow out, pack this with bread if you need to. Next thing you want to do, solder your, your brass fitting into your lead line very carefully, which we cover. Bend this down, let the water flow out of this. Re-solder your hole in your lead line, either a flat patch like this, or drill it, tap it, put a quarter inch brass penny in it, and solder that in. Either way, I probably recommend doing this. And bend it back up very carefully, and there you have a, um, your water lines fixed. And you would do this if your main valve out in the street isn't holding. This is the way to get it done. And I've done this one time before. But honestly, if you have a lead line, I would get it replaced. Um, but this will get you through until you're able to do that.